scientists fear that the booming population of sugarcane aphids will impact profits for many local sorghum growers. They're asking farmers to check their fields because more than likely you already have a high infestation because this pest is reproducing in vast numbers. About 40,000 acres of sorghum are planted in the Rio Grande Valley. It's considered a cash crop, but this spring a new pest could get in the way of that profit. They just started very rapidly reproducing. It was almost overnight. Sugarcane aphids are an invasive species, reproducing at an alarming rate. Danielle Ortiz, an AgriLife integrated pest management agent, says they start to feed from the bottom of the sorghum plant and make their way to the top. It will completely interrupt that, that process of the seed maturing and um, it will drastically affect your yields come the end of harvest times. Ortiz and her colleagues have been monitoring the insects since February. They noticed the population has skyrocketed in the last few weeks. She says most of the aphids are females and they don't lay eggs. They produce more live female aphids. You'll see a lot of predators, but they just, then they're feeding a lot. But usually you'll see on a sorghum leaf, you'll have a thousand, two thousand sugarcane aphids. And you'll have about 10 to 40 predators, whether they be ladybug larva or seared, seared larva but um, they just can't keep up with the vast number. Ortiz is asking growers to check their fields, turn over the sorghum leaves and look out for brown moldy leaves, all signs of a high infestation. If you do have a very high infestation, which more than likely you do, uh, you're going to want to spray. Ortiz says this is a new pest and it should not be mistaken for the yellow sugarcane aphid. She says while this particular aphid prefers sorghum, it is now being found in sugarcane crops as well. In Hidalgo County, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.